Now then, just do another quick video, just to show you that I did the roof last week and the gold bright is in here and it's like 7 o'clock on a night. Just cleaned them out a lot. Sunday's here again. So, cleaned all them ones out. Oh, you never chucked your bedding out again. What you chucked your bedding out for? Eh, baby boy. Eh? Uh, what was I going to show you? Well, that was it. If you look at the tops of my ladders, you get um, a thing that's like, what goes on a dog lead look? So I put some wood on top of the wire, and I put some hooks in it, some loops, and I've used them, um, what you have on a dog lead, you can get them from your local pet shop. And I've put the rope through and tie wrapped them. And why I've done that is, <laughs> I'll show you, go club of monkeys out, I'll just do all this, you know. Stop them going out. Right, I'll show you why I've done it. So when you're cleaning your monkeys out. There it is, look. It's on a hook. What I've done, so the wood doesn't move on the top, I've put two washers and a screw. And then what I do is, I built this ladder up. Right in the corner, you lift it up, it comes off. And it's got a picture hook on the end and a screw up there and basically all you do is I can't do it one handed I not you hook your ladder on and that's it done and then you can take it outside you can bleach it you can wash it and then what I've done I've cut some square bits of plastic screwed them to the wall and arched them out and I get this wood from Wixies this flat wood and they love it. They're going to run along the top of it. Obviously they chew it and that. All the top, if you can see the top all chewed. But they love it. And they're about four pound a length and it lasts, it lasts them two years. To destroy it. But, you know, a little rope ladder there, look with some knots in it. I'll show you something else. You don't have to do none of this. It's just that you might be thinking, oh well, if I put the ladder on the, um, if I put the ladder on in six weeks time when it's full of monkey poop and they peed all over it, how do I get it out? I have to unscrew it. See the doorways, I've showed you before on another video. There's the door lock. You've got up and down and a lever and a piece of bar going to a mechanism. See if you can see because it's I can't do it before because of, because of the daylight. But what that is there, that there is out of a Ford Focus 2000 plate uh, window winder, rear window winder I was going to have electric but I thought if the monkeys are late and the electric window shuts and kills them so what I've done, I've joined that up screwed it to the wall and a little L-shaped bracket and it's there look and then what you do let me just get in the corner what you do then look as that turns that, that comes down like a window in your car and then it goes back up as well nice and slow but it just means in the morning you don't have to disturb your monkeys you can just go turn that lever and let them out I'll show you what it does look there's the door I'm going to turn the lever now look look at that down and up, easy peasy. I just thought I'd show you. So, you know, if we can make life easier for yourselves, you can, uh, you know, you buy on a bit. Basically, everything in the shed comes undone. Everybody's the same look ladder, ladder, ladder. Perches, everything is the same. Everything undoes. There's the squares again, look. Perches lift off. In the summer, monkeys are outside. It starts to smell. You just go outside and power wash everything. All them up there, look, are all on hooks. They're all hooked on. Everything's hooked on. So everything can be taken out and washed. And that's how you do it. It's no good screwing it or nailing it and then looking at your, your dad or your mum going, how do I get that out? The ends of the perches, look, you get a plate washer. 
which is bigger than inch by inch. Just put a screw in the end, unscrew that, take it out. It takes you 10 minutes to strip an airbrush out. So it's not hard. But, um, you know, just trying to make life easier for us monkey keepers that way. So, just about to try and give you a few little hints or tips or whatever. If you've got any questions, just uh, email me and I'll try and help you if I can. Because I'm a bit of a, I don't know, eccentric salvager bloke, whatever you want to call them, do you know what I mean? If you've got a water bottle, look, and you've got no hook for it, use a curtain hook. Repeat that stretch away that you put your nets up in your house with. Simple, look. I love it. Little daft, little daft jobs like that. You know, it's not hard. It's like this slot. You've got a hook there. And then if I take that out, you think, oh, because the monkeys could get that out, you'd think, oh, right, they're out. They're not. They can't get out, it's still locked. When you look down, I'm craftier than them. There's the cupboard, look. You open the cupboard, there's another one there. So I slide that one in. Like that. That's done. Shut the cupboard. Monkey can't get to it. Door's still locked. And what we do is put the top one in. And he's done. If you build a sliding door, just get a bit of bar, a bit of bent bar look, put it on a on a screw there, just so it flops down look. Because otherwise, your monkeys will pull the door open. Because they're clever little buggers. It's easy look. Just a few little tips. But um you know. If it like makes life easier for anybody, they might be thinking, oh, well, if I screw them ladders in and I can't get them out to wash them, they're going to stink up in a month. Do what I do, put them all on picture hanging brackets. So that's the way I do it anyway. Right, I'm off anyway. I hope it helps somebody. Ta-ra.